Welcome back to What's New. With the Olympic Games now complete, we wanted to catch up with a few of Northeast Ohio's Olympians to get a firsthand account of their experience in Japan and to find out what's in store for them moving forward. And we kicked that off today with a really interesting young lady. I went to Westlake yesterday to sit down with Team USA shot putter Adelaide Aquila. Once I got to Tokyo, it was, I was almost overwhelmed with how polite and nice everybody there was. It was, it was awesome to see everybody there just representing their country. Adelaide Aquila has come a long way in a very short time. After her first two years at Ohio State, she rededicated herself to her sport, exploding in her junior season, winning both Big Ten and NCAA titles. But the wild ride came to a peak at the Olympic trials when Adelaide realized she had made Team USA. And then it kind of hit me that I was going to the Olympics. You know, I started walking to the ring and I started crying and I just really didn't focus on the throw because I already knew I secured my spot. Getting a chance to wear the USA jersey for the first time was a very special experience for the 22-year-old Westlake native. The honor of representing her country was like nothing else she'd done before. But that was an amazing feeling and it was just great to know, like, I have a country behind me supporting me. But going from the high of the Olympic trials to throwing in an empty Olympic stadium in the biggest meet of her life was almost surreal. To walk into there and just have uh, no fans or just quietness the whole time was, it was, it was different, but I'm glad I got to experience and add it to something that I can compete in again. Even though Adelaide missed the finals, she says she'll cherish this experience with her goal now getting back to the games for Paris 2024. Walking out of the stadium, I was a little disappointed in how I did, but I started to come to the realization. I was like, I'm an Olympian. I was one of the youngest girls in the field, and that was my first ever international meet. And she wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you for all of the support she received from so many here in Northeast Ohio and elsewhere. Seeing everybody rally behind me was just very overwhelming and they would just say like, good luck and wish you well at trials. I had random people from Michigan being like, wow. I, I dislike Ohio State, but I'm gonna <laughs> cheer for you type of thing. I was like, I don't know how the news got over there, but it was really awesome to have a whole community behind me, not just my parents and close friends. She's got a brilliant career ahead of her. Very, very likable yeah, young lady. Yeah, she is. This is super likable. As for what's next, Adelaide starts her senior year at Ohio State. She's wow. still a baby. She is. That happens in just a couple of weeks. She still has two indoor seasons and an outdoor season of eligibility remaining at OSU. She's looking forward to defending her Big Ten and NCAA championships perhaps earning a master's degree along the way. And of course, she really has Paris 2024 sure. circled on her calendar and I'm expecting big things from her there. She's taken that next big step to an international competition. Her next one would be getting on that podium and I would not count her out. I have a good feeling. I, I like, she, you're right, she's so likable. I wanna she be her is. friend. Can you connect us? <laughs> I, I is will. that weird? I know, <laughs> I, just, I just sat with her for a half hour and I, I really feel like I got the door. I found out while talking with her, while she was in Tokyo for the Olympics, yeah. she was completing classwork. She was taking a class at Ohio State. I just really like her. Okay, she's, she's a hard worker. Too, yeah. She's smart. She's she's great. So, Adelaide, good luck to you.